or then you can just kind of things I want to talk All right, so if you weren't here last week, don't worry, you didn't need to be. We're doing a brand new song this week, and if you haven't played piano before, don't worry, we're doing five different levels. You can definitely do level one. You are gonna need to click on the PDF button right over there though, download the PDF and print it out because that's all the music for all the different levels. Now, as you'll see in your PDF, in the upper right hand corner, it tells you what level that page is for. So on level one, you're gonna wanna have that level one page, and then two and three and four and five, you can just ignore those. Just stay on level one for the entire lesson. You will want to find the chart though that has all of the notes listed out with all the letters on it because that's what you're going to use in order to play your piano along with me when I'm playing. So if we're playing Mary Had a Little Lamb, the track would go something like this. And as I'm playing it, I'll show you where all the notes are and where all the letters are. Don't worry about that. But uh, then you're going to play along with me when I'm playing the track. Now, uh, after we've done level one, I'll show you everything you need so you can practice the song throughout the week. Then we're gonna level up, and that looks like this. And now you can see we're on level two, right? So at level two, then it's gonna get a little bit more difficult, but each time the track plays, I want you to just play the track that you're on. So if you're on track one, if you're on level one, then each time, you know, we're doing our thing, we're going. Each time we start that, I want you to completely ignore the notes that we're playing and you just play your level. So you would play. Because that's gonna work with, uh, the, the track's gonna work with your level every time we play it, no matter what level we're on. So we move on to level two, three, four, five. You just stay on the one that you're comfortable with. All right, so all of these lessons are completely interactive. That means we wanna hear from you right now. So go ahead and click on the chat button right over there. Put in your name, you don't have to put in a password, and then you'll be talking with all the other students who are logged in right now, as well as some of my assistants who can help you and answer some of your questions. If you've got a question though that you don't think they're gonna to know the answer to, and you wanna ask me personally, then type your question in the box below this video, and then you'll get your answer to your question directly from me. Now at the end of level five, we're gonna raffle off some prizes. These prizes change up every single week. If you're the winner of the prize, you need to let us know right away what prize it is that you want so we can send that out to you. You can tell my moderator, you can let us know at mailbag at learnpianolive.com, email us there. Uh, you can fill out the contact form and let us know, but just tell us what prize you want so we can get that out to you. If you're not the prize winner, or if you wanna know how you can earn more points so you can be the prize winner, then just stay tuned after the lesson and I'll let you know. All right, you've been very patient. That's all I gotta say. It's time for the lesson. I hope you've got your PDF. You're ready to ask some questions. I'm ready to answer them. Let's go. Welcome back to kidslearnpianolive.com. I'm Jamin, and this is this is everyone. This is everyone for, for from the penguin in, in, a, in a floaty song. So th this is the one, the only Bradley Paul Clark. How do you do? This this is Louisa, and we got Ben and Jack back there. Uh, in case you haven't heard, oh, and we got Kendra too. Kendra, Hi. Is, uh, of course, the the yes, one of the backup singers as well. So um, anyway, they're all going to be singing for you the song that uh, might just be the cutest little uh, music video that you've ever seen before about uh, Kloppel, who if you've been here before, you already know Kloppel is our mascot penguin who always interrupts me whenever I'm taking too long and so uh, yeah there, there he is so anyway Kloppel glad you could join us um, the the whole team is here and uh, in case you haven't seen it yet the the world premiere of Penguin and a Floaty enjoy this in the frozen plain well it's all kind of real mom and pop 
searching, hoping he will learn to swim. Don't want to try. Don't want to jump in. No, he's not going in there. Not even a fin. Though mom and pop bag, you know, they ain't going to win. Cause he's a penguin in a floaty. His friends want to laugh when he tries to swim. Tries to ignore them. Don't you know he just tries to fit in? But he can't hide. No, 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 them tears in his eyes. Cause he's a penguin in a floating. Out of all the friends he had, one was unique. Put his own floaty on and put a smile on Jimmy's knee. Oh, yes, he did. Now that he's practiced, you know that boy? Yeah. Don't sing like a stone. Now little Jimmy, he, he can swim on his own. He loves to go out now. Along with his friends, oh, and he ain't a penguin in a story. Not no more, uh uh. Oh. I tell you what, he's gonna grow up someday. I'm going to teach them how to play the song. You all need to go in the other room. You're the in-studio students. Be a good example. Go practice hard. Okay? All right. Have fun. Go practice hard. Yeah. All right. All, right. all of go. you, get your PDFs. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's jump into this thing. You actually, this one's kind of nice because you only need six notes for this. You're going to start on C, and then the highest note that you're going to play is going to be an A. So let me show you that. Uh, this note right here, that's your C. The way you find a C is find any group of two black notes. And then the note right below that's going to be a C. So that's your first note. And then uh, the hand position that I'm recommending for you is this thing right here. So the way you would do that is you're going to put your thumb on D, and then you're just going to go one finger per note there. And then your thumb, your left thumb, is just going to take care of that note right there. So you've got all five of those notes taken care of there, and then you've got your thumb right there. And that'll take care of all the notes that you need. And here we go. Let's jump into this thing. So uh, level one, here we go. That C that I showed you, that's the first note that you're going to play. So you're going to play C, and then you're going to come up here to this E. It's just a skip away. So you're going to skip over that D, and then play the F, and walk straight down E, D. So C, E, F, E, D. So that with the track would sound something like this. Two, one, two, three, 
four, here we go. He don't wanna try. Just like that. And that thing actually comes back a little bit later. So hang on to that, he don't wanna try. Now, this next part is probably the trickiest part of the, the entire song. We're gonna have to skip twice. So we're gonna go from... Exactly, you got it, Clapple. So it's gonna go from C to E to G. So it's gonna go C and then skip up and then skip up and then it's gonna go one note past that, the highest note that you have in the entire song. That's where you're gonna use your pinky on that A and then jump all the way back down to that first C. So it goes C, skip, skip, A, C. Just like that. Don't wanna jump in. So again, he don't wanna try and then don't wanna jump in. Now, the next one's gonna start on an E, and this is not that bad, it's just gonna use these four notes, basically. It's gonna go E, E, walk it straight up to your pinky, and then go back to that E. So we got two E's in a row, walk it straight up, and then down to that E. Now, we're gonna go back to that pinky for that next line. And don't forget, the, the goal of this lesson is not for you to be able to play the song perfectly right now. The goal is for you to understand all the notes so you can practice every day this week, and then maybe, you know, in five or six or seven days, or maybe even a couple weeks, depending on how much practice time you get in, then you'll be able to play the song along with the track. So you've, you've got the PDF to download, you got the MP3 to download, you can practice along with that stuff and take as long as you need. So we're gonna play, he's not going in there, then all the way up to the, the pinky, not even a fin. Now, I told you that first line was gonna come back later. It's coming back now. So we're gonna play, though mom and pop beg. That's the same exact set of notes as he don't wanna try. And good news, they ain't gonna win. That's that hard line that we learned a second ago. So we're gonna play the exact same notes. They ain't gonna win. And then we've got the last line, which is not repeated from anywhere else. It's just a brand new line, and it's kind of long. It's gonna go G, A, E, D, C. And then we, that, those three notes that you just played, that E, D, C, the ones you played right there, those ones are just gonna come back and play again. E, D, C, right there. So, you know, if you can, pick up an extra E right here. It's kind of optional. E, D, C, E, then E, D, C, just like that. So let's try that one more time with the track. It sounds something like this, the whole entire thing. Just get all the notes you can. If you can't play all the notes, that's fine. You got all week to practice. Here we go. He don't want to try. We're gonna start on that C and go. He don't want to try. And then the big one where you jump, he don't. And then we're gonna start the E and walk all the way up. He's not going in there. All the way up to the A, a couple of those, and then back and forth. E, then a, then. And then that first line again, the bomb and pop bag. And then that big line with the skip. And then our last line, this one's gonna take some practice. Cause he's a penguin. And that's the whole thing with the track. Now you can play the entire thing. Yikes. All right, Waffle, fine. You win. This will be our last time through, and then we'll, we'll get to our video of the week. So here we go. One more time with the track. Just get all the notes you can. Don't worry about the rest. Here we go. Two, ready, and go. He don't want to try. Okay, this is the big one where you got to skip all the way up. Don't want to jump in. And then we've got a couple of we're gonna walk it straight up. He's not going in there. All the way up to your pinky and not even a fin. Now we got that, that next line that's just repeating from up before. And pop bag. And then they ain't gonna. Here's our last line, the one you'll need to practice probably. It goes, cause he's a penguin. And that is the, uh, the entire thing with the track. Like I said, you got all week to practice, but now it is time for our video on how to eat a penguin. Yeah. All right, this is a video on how to eat a penguin. So here's what you need to do. Uh, 
So if you've got if you've got the supplies for this ahead of time, then it's going to make it way easier. Just trust me. You're going to need a ho ho and a donut, and you're going to need a marshmallow, and you're going to need uh, so, some oranges and uh, some orange slices, the candies, and then you're going to need um, a tootsie roll, just like this. And so here's what you're going to do. Uh, you're you're going to take your donut here, and then. Um, you're gonna you're gonna hopefully take out some some parts of the middle and then hey what are you guys doing what are you what are you okay yikes hey wh what I don't know <laughs> <laughs> so this is what you're doing it's best to do it with friends if you've got friends who are coming in even if you act angry at them for coming in uh, that they, they will still <laughs> if they're good friends they'll still join you. <laughs> So anyway, you got your donut. You're gonna you're gonna take your ho ho. You're gonna put the ho ho in there, and the 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 ho ho is the um is the penguin itself. Now you're gonna need a, a little chunk of marshmallow like this, and so you'll put the the marshmallow chunk right right there on him. So now you can see he's becoming a, a penguin like that. Yeah, you guys are doing great. Nice job. Yay. Nice work, yeah, beautiful. And so then you're gonna need to um, you take these little guys, the little orange guys, and you stick them on the bottom there. And um, then we, yeah, those are his little feet. And then, <laughs> then you're gonna let's see. He needs some eyeballs because he is eyeballless yet. But you can see he's got his his floaty here. That's the donut. And then the, you should do this away from your piano. Trust me, because um, I know from experience that you'll get this stuff all over your piano, and it's just gonna be a big mess. Um, but uh, anyway, so then now he's got some, some eyeballs on there that you can see. And then if you can, like give him a little bit of a, a nose right there. So anyway, that's our, our penguin and a floaty. And if you do it correctly, um, then it'll look like that guy right there. So that'll be your penguin and a floaty. And then and if you eat them, it's very, very good. And then you eat a penguin. It's not violent or anything. So sure about that? anyway, so there you go. Yeah. Enjoy your penguins. Get out of here. This is supposed to be a video. Go, uh -huh. go. Cool. All right, now back to the lesson. Oh, oh wait, hang on. Great video, great video of the week. Glad we have that. Let's level up. All right, so th this is level two, yo. Uh, if you've been here before, then you know. Level two is actually the same as level one. Only now I'm putting it on the official like lines and spaces that uh, you would use like if you're a professional, which you are. I mean, you're practicing. That's all a professional is. It's just someone who's practicing a lot. So anyway, well, yeah, sure. And so here, here's what we're gonna do. These are these are the lines and the spaces, um, and uh, each note either goes on one of the lines or on one of the spaces, and that tells you which letter you're supposed to be playing. So let me show you this this first note right here is on a space. It doesn't have a line cutting through the middle of it. You can see like this note right here, um, over here, that one's got that line that cuts right through the middle of it, so that one's on a line. This one here doesn't have a line cutting through the middle of it, so it's on a space. Now we, all we gotta do is find out which space is it on. This right here is space number one, that's space number two, that's space number three. So we're on space number three. So now we just gotta find out, all right, so what letter is space number three supposed to be? So over here, we go space one, space two, space three, and that is a C. So that's how we know our first note's supposed to be a C, is because on a space, it's on the third space, we go to our chart and we just take a look at it and it says it's supposed to be a C. Like I said, this is what the pros use. If you're on level one and this seems terribly confusing, then don't worry about it, just keep playing your version. But you can see right there, we're supposed to start on that C right there. And then from there, it actually gets a lot easier. Once you get your first note, that's, that's the easiest part. Because then you can see right here, we're just supposed to find out whether it goes up or down or stays the same. This one's pretty easy. It goes up from here to here. You can see that line goes up. And it goes up two notes, right? It goes past that line onto the next note. So we'd start there and we'd go past the next note to the next one. So that's gonna be a C and then an E. Now, if you really wanna cheat, you can see probably down here underneath the words, I put in all the letters for you. So you don't even have to go to the chart. I just wrote them all in there for you. But uh, anyway, so you're gonna go from a C up two notes. You do land on an E, but that's not the important part. The part, important part is that you're going up two notes. So he don't, and then from there, you're gonna go up one note, land on that one, and come down a note, and then come down a note. And that's the first, first notes he don't wanna try. He don't wanna try, because we're starting on a C. We go up two, up one, down one, down one, and we're there. 
This next part right here, pretty much the same thing. Watch out for this note right here. That one is an A. It's not on your chart, so I'm just going to let you know it's that really high A way up there. So don't wanna jump in is going to be a C. If we do this whole, whole like up, down, stay the same thing, that's a C. We're going to go up two notes from that space to the next space up, then up two more notes because that's going from a space to a space. So in both cases, we're skipping over a line. Right? We could put a note on that line, we could put a note on that line, but uh, we decided to skip over those. Don't wanna, watch out for your A right there, jump, and then we're back to this note right here, and that's that C again. So uh, that whole first line with the track would sound something like this. Level one players, just play your version right along with this. Don't worry about all this whole lines and spaces stuff. Here we go. And go. He don't wanna cry. And then don't wanna jump in, just like that. And so we're gonna do the same thing with this next one. Uh, I'll show you more quickly on this one because I'm sure Klopple's gonna be interrupting any second now. Let me know, we're running out of time. Uh, that, that next one is on, is on this space. It's on the very top space on your chart. It says the top space is always supposed to be an E. I'll show you in case you don't believe me. Here we go, right there. Top space is supposed to be an E. So when we have this note right here, we play an E. And then you can see that next note is the exact same note because it's on that same exact space. So he's not. And then we're going to go up one, up one, up one, and then skip back down to that E. So he's not. Up one, up one, up one, back down to that E. And then we're back up to that same A that we had before that was so high. Not even a fin. Just like that. Not even a fin. So this next line is Fortunately, the exact same notes as the line, this first line right here. It's just different words, but all the notes are the exact same. So, the mom and pop bag, they ain't gonna. Oh, really? I was afraid of that. All right, cool. So, this is gonna be our last time through uh, here on level two. But uh, let me just show you this last line real quick before we, we do our last time through. That starts on a G, and then goes up to A, and then E, D, C, and then up two notes to that E. E, D, C. Let's try the entire thing. Level one players, just play your version right along with us. And uh, here we go. Good luck, my friends. Starts on a C, and he don't wanna try. And then the next line has that A in it. Watch out for that, it's really high. Don't wanna jump in, back down to that C. Here's our second line, and it goes, starts on that E, walks up to that A again, and then back up to that same A. Not even a bit. Then this third line is the same as the first line. At least the notes are. And then they ain't gonna win is they ain't gonna win. And here's our last line, the one that's gonna take some practice. Cause he's a penguin in a flow. And there we go. That is how you play level two of uh, Penguin and a Floaty. So now it's time for mailbag. If you'd like to be the mailbag winner and pick up an extra 750 points, that's right, 750 points, send your comments, questions, complaints, suggestions to mailbag at learnpianolive.com. And this week it's from Al Anonymous, who says, Dear Klopple, is there anything I can do to make my hand look like a penguin? Wow, Al, that's a really specific uh, request you have there. But fortunately, we do have such a thing like that right here. So uh, all, you're, all you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna take your, your piece of paper, again, um, with, with all of your, your the things you're gonna need ahead of time are uh, some, some felt and some googly eyes and some paint, kind of like this right here. <laughs> and you're going to um, you're gonna take your handprint and you're gonna paint uh, just the outside of your hand black like that, right? And so please leave the inside like that right there. And then uh, you're, you're gonna put it on your paper and then wait for it to dry, right? And you should have something that looks like that. So then, uh, then you're gonna, after it dries, you're gonna paint the inside of it white like that. So then you've got that as your hand. And so then after that, you just wanna take the, your, your felt pieces and then you wanna, you wanna glue your felt pieces like this, like this, here we go. Glue them all on here. I thought you guys were supposed to be practicing. Didn't oh, you yeah, promise we me? Did. Yeah, totally. 
You have the song down already? Oh, yeah, we're good. So we're you guys good. can play the song. Oh, yeah. You've been practicing. Because like you're not supposed to be to go into crafts and arts until you guys can oh, no, play the song. Good. You're good. Okay, all right. So anyway, you're going to glue this right here all on. And this is going to be his floaty. These are the pieces of his floaty. Actually, it'd be terrible if you had a floaty that was made of different pieces. You would surely, surely sink. And maybe, I guess, learn how to swim. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm getting too deep now. So uh, then you glue his, his googly eyes on there and then right there and right there. And uh, if you do it all correctly, ta-da! There you go, Al. That's how you wow. make a, your hand into a, a penguin uh, art craft. It's really convenient that you had that question for us exactly on this week. So guys, get out of here. You're making a mess. This is, this is go practice. Go, go practice. Practice. I, we're gonna be checking in with you in one level. You need to. You need to know your song. All right. So anyway, there you go. There's a little penguin and a floaty craft you can do. It's time to level up. Let's get the next set of stuff ready if we can. All right. So here we go. Here is level three. Uh, this is the same actually as, as level two, only now we're adding in a little bit of left hand. So now we're gonna use something called the bass clef. So this is the bass clef right here. Um, so it kind of follows the same rules as the, the treble clef with the notes we just played with the right hand. It's still got lines and spaces and stuff and you gotta find out is this note on a line or a, sp a space and then you, uh, you just check your chart and then whatever it, whatever it is, you're gonna play that note. Only these are all really low notes. So these are ones with your, your left hand. So then, um, here we go. This first one right here is on a space. Um, and Kloppel, if you could uh, change over there to the, the PDF so they can see. There we go. Uh, then this one right here is on a space. It's on the second space up. So uh, if we go to our chart, our second space up is, that's our first space, that's our second space. And so that one's going to be a C. So we're supposed to play that C, the really, really low C, right there right at the exact same time that we have this rest right here. So we're supposed to play that one with a rest in the right hand and then play that very first note that we had over here. Hopefully if you're on level three, you've already got level two down. So you already know the next notes you're supposed to be, you know, so the C and the E, F, E, D. All right, so now we're just adding in the left hand. Again, if you're on level one or two, just totally ignore this stuff. Just keep practicing your thing. We're gonna play the track here in a second. So we're gonna play a C and you're gonna play he don't wanna try. Right on try, you're supposed to go from that space to that space. So again, you're gonna skip over a line. We're gonna go from a C up to an E. So we're gonna play C, you don't wanna try, and then play that E right there. So then after that, we're gonna have a F right there because we're just going up one note, and then you can see that goes down to a D right there. So we're gonna play an F and then a D. The, the F happens with this thing right here, and then this D happens with that note right there. So, all together, that whole first line is C in the left hand, he don't wanna try, that's our E, and then F, don't wanna jump in, it's gonna be that D right there. And then our next line, kind of the same rules, we got a G to an A, to a D, to a G. So it's just those four notes that circle around G, A, D, G. So the G, the first G happens with this rest right here. G, he's not going in there. And then this D happens with this rest right here. Not even a fin is that G right there. So all that so far with the track sounds something like this. Level one and two, just play your version along with us. Don't worry about all the left hand, right hand stuff. Here we go. He don't wanna try up to that E. And then we've got an F. Don't wanna jump in. That's where we have that D. And then we're gonna go up to that G. He's not going in there. Is that A? And then D. Not E, then a then is a G. Then the third line is the exact same as the first line. Pop, beg, goes up to that E. We're gonna play an F and then a D. They ain't gonna win. Now, this is this where stuff gets crazy. All right, so here we go. You can do this. You can do this. It's just gonna take a little bit of practice. These, all these other notes were whole notes, so they were they were held up for a long, 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 long time. Right? These notes are half notes. They're gonna get literally half as long. You gotta play them twice as 
quick. Too much math. You gotta play them fast, is what I'm trying to say. So we got these ones right here. G up to an A, down to a D, up to a G. So you've already done this thing before. G up to A, D, G. It's just this is way faster. So it goes, cuz he's a penguin in a... He's... Really? All right, fine. I know I'm going too slow. All right, clap, I'll speed it up. So then our very last note is a C. So it's the one that you start on, it's the one that you end on, we're in the key of C, all that stuff. So we're gonna end on that C. If you can make it past, cuz he's a penguin in a... Then you just hit that C and you're done. Let's try that with the track. Kloppel says it's the last time through. Here we go. One, two, ready, and go. You don't. Level one and two, you guys can play your version right along with us. F, he don't. And then up to a G, this is the thing where we're gonna cycle around. Uh, go in, in, up to that A. We go to the D, back to the G. Now we've got the same thing as the first line. So mom and pop bag up to that E. And then we've got they ain't gonna win. And this is the one that's fast. Good luck, it's gonna be G. A, D, and then G, and then D. If you do that, uh, then uh, wow, you must have practiced a lot before. And speaking of practice, it is time for us to check in with our in-studio students who have practiced a whole lot, I'm sure, and uh, to see how it's coming along with them. So in-studio students, come on over. Let's check this out. I can't wait to see what they've come up with. These, these are the artists who, who made this song, and uh, you've all been practicing, right? Of course, yeah. Yeah, you've been practicing. Okay, so who, who practiced the most? Who's, who's actually going to play the song? Who, who's, who's, who's playing the song? Me? Yes. You guys didn't practice, did you? Yeah. No. no. Not really. I'm so sad. Okay. I'm sorry. So, oh, okay, we, you guys practice for next time. This time, how about you guys just sing along and oh, then... Okay. Well, we can do that. Okay, all right, so I'll play the song. You guys, you're going to practice, though, this next time. Oh, yes. You're going to oh, practice. Sure, sure. Yeah. Pra I got a bad feeling about this. All right, here we go. So here's, here's your track. Ready? Here we go. And go. He don't wanna try. Uh huh. And then. Don't wanna try. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go to this E right here. Then. Uh huh. And then we're gonna get nothing. Uh huh. Now, we got the same thing as the first line. And we're gonna go. Then we go, they ain't gonna win. It's the big jump. Uh huh. And then, cuz, cuz, uh, win in a booty. All right. All right, I don't know what Clapple is clapping for. You guys are, I mean, you're great singers and all, but you need to be practicing. So, yeah, so. Practice. You guys are doing great, actually. Oh, yeah, uh, that, was, that was pretty. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Oh, thank you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so we're gonna go practice. Go, yeah. Sure. Sure. I got a bad feeling about these guys. I think they just like to sing a lot. I don't know. Anyway, it is time for us to level up. <laughs> All right, in case this is your first time on level four, the, here, here's how it works. Uh, this is where I uh, basically feel free to throw in whatever crazy notes I can come up with to make this as difficult as possible and sound as cool as possible, but it, it does get kind of crazy. So you can see already on here, like this thing right here, that's, that's a ton of notes, right? So you got uh, like these three notes all being played at the same time. The good news is all the same rules from before still apply. So you got your lines and spaces and stuff and all the notes line up exactly where they're supposed to go. But uh, you right off from, from, the, from the very beginning, you're already playing like three notes just like that all together. So you play those three together, those three together, those three together. And then even in your, in your right hand, you're playing a whole bunch of notes, right? So you've got this thing, all these t top notes right here are the same top notes that you had before, except uh, now you're doing this thing in the left hand. So we got, you don't wanna try. 
just like that. So many notes already. And you're also supposed to play these G's down here with each of those. Don't wanna try. That goes to a G sharp right there. So we got one, two, three, don't wanna try. All right, so those are those notes right there. And then uh, we've got uh, some more over here. Don't, uh, don't want, this is actually pretty cool. Let me show you this thing right here. This is the walk down. If, if you listen really carefully in the song, you can hear like, this is the part that goes. That thing right there, that, those are those exact notes right there. So those are written out for you. It's an F to an E to an E flat to a D. And right there, your, your right hand is playing. Don't wanna jump in. Just like that. And then our, our next line, like I said, this, I mean, this is level four. So this is only for people who, were, who already played level three and you're like, oh, it's so boring. I need some hard notes. Here's some hard notes for you. Um, so anyway, level, or line number two on level four is uh, these things right here are called thirds. It's where we put one note in between each of our notes and then we just play like that. So it's just moving those, those pairs around. So he's not going in there. Um, so we got C chord down here. We got he's not going in. Right there, you're supposed to play a C sharp with a G E and a G down there. In there. And right there, you've got that, that G down on the bottom with it. And then this switches to this really cool sounding chord that is, uh, it's called. This one's actually an F sharp diminished. We, I, I wrote D on your paper. So if you know what an F sharp diminished is, it's that thing right there. It's like this super, like the scariest chord you could possibly hear. Like, all that stuff, right? That's diminished chords. So anyway, that note and that note and that note together are an F sharp diminished. Or if you put the D on the bottom, then it's just a regular D chord. But anyway, so you get your chord right there, F sharp diminished, then not E, then a fin. And you got a bunch of those notes right there. Let's just try some of that with the track. Here we go. One, two, ready, and go. The third line is the same as, as the uh, first line, and then that last one is just crazy. Especially, you can see right here, you got all kinds of sharps and flats and all kinds of kinds of junk in there. So let me show you here real quick. The this sign right here, it's a flat sign. So when you see that one, you're supposed to take the note, whatever note is written. Like let's say it's this note right here, a D. And you're supposed to play that one just a little bit lower, like right there. So that would be a D. That'd be a D flat. Now, if you see this symbol right here, that's called a sharp sign. That's the opposite of a flat sign. So if that's D, and we go up just a little bit to get to D sharp. That... Already? Thanks. That's the first time I've seen that one. It scared me just a little bit. Um, all right, so then uh, that's a D, that's a D flat. That's a D, we go up a little bit, that's a D sharp. And then this one right here is a natural sign. It just means play it regular, which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna play it regular. Level one, two, and three, just play your version along with us. We're gonna try to get in as many of these notes as possible. If you want the chords, because I know a lot of you guys request the chords, then the very next page um, has all the chords that are listed on it. So you can play those chords along with uh, any, any of these notes in here. And here we go, good luck. Levels one, two, and three, you play the regular version. And level four, here we go. He don't want to try. Don't want to jump in. He's not going in there. Here's that F sharp diminished, not E, then a fin. And then back to the C. So mom is pop. And then F, they ain't gonna win. That's that walk down thing that sounds pretty cool. And then, cause he's a penguin in a flow. And then the 
very end, I also gave you that that thing right there because it sounds cool at the end of the song. So anyway, that is level four, and that means it is time for our website of the week. And here you go. If you uh, check out uh, learnpianolive.com slash contest, then you'll, uh, you'll see this thing right here. If we click play on that, then it's a craft. Here's how to do a craft for a penguin in a floaty using just pipe cleaner like I have right here. Would you like to do this craft with us? Oh, I'd love to watch. Yeah. <laughs> love to watch. <laughs> all right. Mine didn't turn out all that great in the other one. All right. All right. So anyway, here's our, our penguin in a floaty craft. Not quite modern um, art. But we're we're going to take these guys right here and we're going to, uh, you guys want to try this? There you go. Have some, have some pipe cleaners. These are just regular pipe cleaners of all kinds of, yeah, there you go. All right. So you're, you're going to take your, your pipe cleaner, you're going to take the, the pencil or your finger, you're going to wrap it around and around, and then you're going to take your other one, and you're going to make like a beak out of it. Here we go, so you can see you're making a beak out of it, and then you need something for the, the floaty part of it, so you twist your floaty around like that, and then um, if you ready, and if you do it right, ta-da, you got a penguin in a floaty made out of pipe cleaner. That is really cute. Oh, and it's even got little gems for eyes there. How did yours turn out? Mine turned out like this. Mine How turned out like a snake. Oh, it just looks like a think? snake and a ball. Oh, that's too bad. I, All right, I, it's too I bad you didn't, you didn't have one pre-made like for forever. you like I did. So anyway, Ten points that's, our, Ten that's points our pipe cleaner penguin in a floaty. Pretty cool. I'll put a, a picture of that on Instagram there so you guys can see that one. <laughs> Anyway, that's our penguin in a floaty. And uh, so that's our video on how to make a penguin in a floaty out of a uh, pipe cleaner. So uh, see you later. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys, get out of here. Get with our video. I'm not good at crafts. That's, uh, I, it was going to be either crafts or, or piano. That's what propelled me in, into the life of piano with my horrible, horrible skills in crafts. <laughs> um, so anyway, it's time for us to level up. Let's go to the other side. All right, so here we go. Here's level five. Basically what we do here is we get rid of all of the, the letters uh, in, in the staffs and all that stuff. Uh, level five is for people who really like making up their own songs um, and uh, don't mind switching keys or even want to switch keys. Now, good news is this song is actually the, like the original version, the version that those pros uh, sing in, that's in the key of C. So we actually don't have to change keys this week, one of the rare times. Uh, but uh, the key of C just means they're using all white notes. So these are gonna sound good throughout the, the whole entire song, right? So uh, we're in the key of C. Instead of using letters, like I said, now we're using numbers. So this, instead of calling this one C, we're gonna call this one number one. It's just gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one, like that. So uh, the way we would play this is you've got your melody line right up here. And so now we're just gonna play one, three, four, three, two, like that. And that you can tell already, like that sounds like the song. One, three, four, three, two, sounds like the words right here. He don't wanna try. And the rest of it's just gonna work the exact same way. One, three, five, six, one. Sounds exactly like don't wanna jump in. In fact, you're actually literally playing the exact same notes. Um, so then we, you, know, you, you can figure out the rest of those to put in all of your numbers and it's the exact same thing. And you might be wondering, well, like, why would I do that? Why wouldn't I just learn like the letters and stuff? Cause check this out, this is really cool. So here are the chords. We write the chords as numbers. That one right there, that's a one chord. That means you can do anything you want with the one chord. Here's how you find the one chord. You just go to number one, you play every other note. So that one, and that one, and that one. Bam, that's a one chord, right? So now we get to do whatever we want with that one. So we can play it just straight up like that, and we can play, you don't wanna try, if we want to, or we could like pulse it like that. And we go. In fact, that's what I'm actually doing in the, the actual song. And if you listen to the background, you got those chords going like that. That's what I was deciding to do. But you could decide to do, like play one note at a time. Now it's kind of like country western thing. Right? Or you could like play the bottom part, the top. You can do whatever you want. And you can play these like as long as you've got these three notes, the C, the E, and the G, you can play them wherever you want here. So if you zoom out here, um, then you can see like those are all notes from the one chord, right? Uh, that'd be main, there we go. And so we've got, those are the notes for the, the one chord, but then you also have like those ones up there, like that. So now we can play like 
any of these that we want to for the one chord. So like, uh, let's see here. We could do like. That was all just the one chord. So you just make up whatever you want with the one chord. Now let's go back to the uh, PDF here. There are a couple of other things I need to show you. This is a, a 3M chord. So a 3M looks like this. You're going to go one, two, three, play every other note. Bam, bam, bam. That's a three chord. You're not supposed to play a three chord. You're supposed to play a 3M chord or a major three. So we're going to just take that middle note up to there, right there. And that's a 3M. So now we've got that note and 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 that note. Those are all the three chord. And then after that, we're going to go to a four chord. Four chord's pretty straightforward. We're just going to go one, two, three, four like that, and then every other note. So that one, and that one, and that one. That's a four chord. And of course, you've got all the same notes up there you can play. And then we've got this one over here, which is a major two. So I'm going to let you try to figure that one out. Here, we're going to go to the two. Try to get ahead of me here. So I'm on the one. I'm going to the two. And I'm going to play every other note. So that one, then that one and that one, but it's not a regular two chord. You're supposed to play a major two, which means you're supposed to take the middle note up just a little bit. So that note right there, take it up to right there, bam. That's your major two chord. So now using all of those chords, here's what it would sound like with the track. Level one, two, three, and four, you guys just keep practicing your version along with us. But to level five people, try throwing in some of these chords. We're gonna go for a one chord first. One, two, you can go ahead and zoom out here. We've got a one chord to a major three, to a four, to major two, and then a one chord, major six. Okay, that one will take some practice. And then major two, you already played that one. And then a five, and then we got the one chord. We're gonna go to a three chord, and then the four chord, major two, and then on your paper it says, you're supposed to go real quick, one to a major six, to a major two, to a five, to a one. So, I'll really, just one more time through. Okay, just one more time through, real quick. He says we need to go faster. So uh, I'm going to do all that same stuff, only now I'm going to try to put some other notes in here so you can see what it would sound like if you're on level five and you like work out you know, some of your options on some of these chords. If you're on level one through four, ignore everything I just said. Just play your version along with this. You know what you're supposed to do. Do it. Here we go. One, two, ready, and... stuff from level five if you want to just goof around with the chords and now it is time for us to check in let's hope they practiced let's hope they practiced come on over come on over team so here we go did anybody did anybody practice the piano of course we yeah. did yeah. ah i knew it i knew it all right all right that's all right so again i'll play well i'll play this thing and then you guys uh you guys do the singing and I'll do this part over here. And uh, everyone got your headphones on? Here we go, friends. On your mark, get set, and go. One, two, you can either watch or play along or whatever. Here we go. He told what to try. Uh huh, and then we got. Don't wanna jump in. Uh huh, and then we got that E that's gonna move up to that A. He's not going in there. Uh, and then we got that A really high. Not even a fear. Uh huh. And then the mom and pack bag. The mom and pack pop bag. Then they ain't gonna win. Is that skippy thing? They ain't gonna win. Then here we go.
All right, great job, guys. Way to go. Beautiful singing. Uh, so now it's time for us to go to the insanity level. So let's level up. Yeah. So this is everybody's favorite level. This is where we uh, just play the fastest version possible of this song. And uh, yeah, we're just, we're just gonna run through the whole thing. And you guys can either sing or play along. All the white notes are game. And uh, on your mark, yikes, get set. Here we go. Two, one, two, ready, and go. You don't wanna try. <laughs> you don't want to jump in. It's not going in there. Not even a fin. And then the mom and pop, the mom and pop, there. You know, they ain't gonna win. That's why he's a penguin. And a flea. Nice job. That was insane. Way to go. That was cool. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. The most sane insanity ever. Well, um, as you guys probably know, uh, everyone at home has been like waiting to find out who won the ten dollar gift card this week. So let's find out. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Uh, we'll see you next week. Our, our, our winners were, uh, who is it? Uh, Ethan T, uh, Kendall S, Veronica L, Abby S, Daniel K, Lizzie T, Nathan B. You guys were, were, were winners in the, in the coloring contest, so thanks for participating there. Uh, Nathan, you were the, the uh, chat winner. Bradley Clark, thank you so much. Thank You're you. awesome. Yeah. Thank you. You're awesome. Thank you. We'll All see right, you next guys. week. All right. Hey, you're still here. Me too. Well, here's what needs to happen next. Uh, first of all, click on the survey button. That uh, is probably like right over here. Maybe if you're on the iPad, it's like down here below the video. Anyway, it's right around there. Click on that. Let us know how we did today. And also ask us any questions that you might have about this lesson or about any other lesson. You might even be the mailbag winner if you include your name in that. Um, and then after that, you're going to go to the music challenge, uh, which is a button probably right up here up above the uh, video. And so uh, click on the music challenge. You can do, come back every single day and fill out the, uh, the code thing and get your points for, for doing that. So you got your music challenge thing to do after you do the survey. And then uh, after you've practiced the song up, then go to the, the one up here that says right over here probably student videos. Uh, and then take a video of yourself on your phone or your iPad or whatever, and then send us your video. And uh, maybe it could even be the featured video and get points for doing that. Um, and then if you have any questions, click the uh, contact button that's also up there somewhere anyway I don't know uh, but click on that let us know if you have any questions and uh, we'll see you back here next week all right thanks for joining us it was a lot of fun see ya <laughs>